Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Uh, I still have no goddamn idea what I'm doing with respect to getting the Platinum God achievement. Let's look at this very quickly. 96 out of 97 secrets found. I don't know what the last secret is. And I probably won't until like four days after recording this because of the lead time with these videos. But, that being said, we're missing one item. Could that be the secret? Perhaps. And if that is indeed the case, I've beaten the chest with everybody. That is for damn sure. Uh, except maybe Samson? I don't know though. But you know what, let's play as Samson no matter what. Uh, I think the only item I need is Guppy's Hairball. If I get Guppy's Hairball, do I get Platinum God? I have no idea. So we have the potential for a pretty, you know, anticlimactic Platinum God achievement here if I manage to get Guppy's Hairball. I mean, it's also the kind of thing where with Isaac, I might- Oh, God damn it. I might not even know until a couple of days later when the achievement actually shows up, but I don't know. We're gonna keep trying here. Red Heart might be good for Samson, or Child's Heart, I should say. It seems like we've been getting this uh, trinket a lot lately. Not necessarily a bad- oh, Well, okay, there goes the buff that Samson got. Or part of it, anyway. The Spirit Heart is totally gone. I've been taking a lot of damage recently, but that hasn't stopped us from having some good runs. Like, the last two videos have had some pretty amazing runs. In particular, like, I was very surprised to succeed on the last run that I did. If I remember correctly, we did, at least. Let's take this pill. What's the worst that can happen? Bombs are key. That's actually really good. Because we can use that key, of course. Oh, I should have gone to the treasure room first. But, I mean, it's famine. It's always famine. We're actually going to play... This is the one time, maybe, you want to do a different strategy as famine. We are going to create a bunch of grandfather flies here just by not allowing famine to uh, bum rush us, basically. Oh, maybe I should let him kill them now. <laughs> and basically, when, when famine kills these things, it should give me increased rage. That's my thinking, anyway. So I don't even have to worry about killing the Grandfather Flies. Yes, I just saw my color change. So we'll let him kill this one, too. Let him kill this one, too. We should get a little bit more powerful. I want to wait until I get red tears. So, okay, we'll let him spawn another one. Normally, you just want to treat Famine like Monstro, too. But in this situation where you have Rage or you're starting as Samson, I think it's better to do things this way. Okay, yes. This, I think, is going to be how things are going to turn out. Oh, that was very close. I could have easily died there. Okay, so now we have no problems against Famine. <sighs> Except I very nearly got hit on that shot. Um, we'll pick up a Red Heart when we leave here, of course. The Cube of Meat is not necessarily a great item, but if we pick up a Book of Revelations or something early on, it could come back and help us. But yeah, so if you've been following the my Binding of Isaac saga, or saga, depending on your pronunciation, I believe we're getting very, very close to this Platinum God achievement. But it's, it feels like it's been a while since I said this. Do not worry that the Let's Play is over when Platinum God happens. This is a game that I still play recreationally. I mean, I remember having this conversation like... What the heck? Oh, it's Peeper's Eye. Or the Peeper, I should say. Yeah, so the eye that goes around the screen. I remember having this conversation months ago. Probably back in, like, the end of 2011. So we got Super Wrath with Troll Bombs here. Could be kind of annoying, actually. Yep, there we go, we died. Alright, let's restart then. Um, yeah, having this conversation, like, a year ago, as we get speed and range here, uh, basically saying, like, don't worry, like, there's new DLC coming out for Isaac, the game isn't over just because I beat Mom! <laughs> just because I beat Mom ten times! Uh, but yeah, this advice is to say, like, I'm gonna continue to enjoy this game, and, you know, as new stuff comes in, the Isaac content might taper off a little bit, but it's never gonna fully disappear. I mean, there was a period this spring where the Isaac content kind of tapered off a little bit, then Wrath of the Lamb came out, and there was another big push for that kind of stuff, so yeah, it, just don't worry about it too much, trust me, I've got everything under control from an Isaac standpoint here. It's one of the most beloved series in the history of my channel. Probably the most beloved series, so I would be pretty foolish to uh, just let it fall by the wayside. So don't sweat that. So we're fighting against Black Widow here, who is spawning the most asshole spiders I could possibly imagine. And apparently, when it stands on them, it doesn't actually kill them. Let's drop a bomb here. This Widow has a ton of HP. I'm not even sure if that hit it, because I think it might have been jumping at the same time. If I could just kill some of these spiders, I could get my rage to build up, but I'm trying to focus on the Widow, I guess, because normally Widow has such low HP. And I also don't want these spiders to explode into two spiders like that, thus creating a difficult situation for me. That was a very lucky dodge. Our spirit heart's gone. We're a half heart away from death. Well, at least if we die again on the basement part one. <laughs> We're only four minutes into the video. This is embarrassing at this point. All right, time to get, put my fucking game face on. It's a five minute warm up. Oh, God, that was close. We got Mom's Knife! Okay. That's better. <laughs> That's my new Isaac strategy. Just keep restarting on the Cellar Part 1 until you get Mom's Knife or a Brimstone or something. This should make things 
substantially easier. Pick up an easy tarot card. It's the stars. Stars takes us to the item room, if I remember correctly. So we won't use it on this floor. In fact, we might not even use it on the next floor. We'll use it on a floor where we don't have any keys. Actually, keys seem to be fairly prevalent now. Or we'll use it on a floor where we want to save keys, I guess. Either way, functionally saves us one key. So we'll get ready to fight the boss here. I don't want you guys to think that I deliberately died because I had not such great items. Like, Peeper's Eye is actually a solid item, I think. Uh, just poor dodging on my part. We use Occam's Razor on this one. What is more likely? That I was smart enough and had the foresight to deliberately die when I got not so great items? To try to restart to get Mom's Knife? Or that I just suck at dodging? I'll tell you which one is way more likely. This is a much faster version of Pin. I'll tell you that right now. But two hits of Mom's Knife! It's going to be more than enough, and the HP upgrade is awesome. So we'll head down to the next floor. That took like 45 seconds. Chance for a speed run? Probably not. Use the stars card right away. For teleport, okay, we could get some iron error rooms. You always want to be t careful with teleport. You want the maximum number of chances, but you also want to get all the treasure that you possibly can on a floor before leaving it. So I'm going to try to find the boss room before I use teleport again. Just because it would be pretty shitty if I... I don't want to do that. It would be pretty shitty if I ended up missing out on the boss's treasure just because teleport took me to I am error room too fast. Oh, we got a damage upgrade, that's awesome, and another key. Makes this golden chest possibly worthwhile, so let's do it. One of the reasons flying is so good, you can get some more golden chests. And we got the chariot card, was that worth bombing a key? Absolutely not, but there's not much we can do about that now. So we'll take on our boss here. Two monstros, one of them already deceased. One of them soon to go. That was so easy. <laughs> Each one died in one hit. That's crazy. We got the coin purse. Could be awesome, could be horrible. But let's see what Satan's got first. Nothing that interests me. Let's hope that these this pill right here is good. That, that is not a good pill. So we will leave that instead. White pill is luck up. And red pill, tears down. Alright. Not great. Teleport around here. Might as well go through every room on this floor. We know that there's not too much extra risk that we're going to come across. Sucks that I lost that spirit heart. Oh well. Got some extra lifesteal. Uh, but the reason we want to go to every single room is, of course, we get more chances for uh, teleport. Which is more chances for I am error room. More chances to teleport to the secret room. Also cool with me. And that means, you know, more chances to teleport to the shop. Maybe I'll get enough money to buy something a little bit later. We should have at least two more rooms left. We have exactly two more rooms left. Incredibly easy. More money. Oh, we're so close to the shop being a viability, but I don't want to waste a key unless I'm absolutely sure that I can get something half decent. So we'll try to teleport one more time. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the I am error room. Well, never mind. We won't have another chance. Uh, so we'll just leave this floor. And I'll probably spam the teleport a little bit more on the next floor, I guess. I can't believe that we got almost all bad pills. The only tangible upgrade we got was Luck Up, which actually is not even that tangible when you think about it. So we got the Satan room again, we had Monster Manuel, and that uh, cat head that gives us flies every room. Neither of which are particularly interesting to me right now. I could use a range upgrade, like, or a tears upgrade, I guess. Like, I'm, I need faster charges on Mom's Knife, or I need it to go farther with each charge. So we'll use a bomb here, Spirit Hearts, please. Yes, and more money. Okay, so the shop definitely worthwhile. Just teleporting around the land right now, that was horrible. Sometimes that happens with Mom's Knife, not gonna lie. I just can't control myself. We got an extra bomb, excellent. So we could look for the secret room, but we might just find it as a result of our, our teleporting. I know I said it's better to avoid teleporting so much until you find the boss room. Do as I say, not as I do, because I'm gonna teleport like crazy here. Try to maximize my chances of getting that I am error room. And maybe we'll come across the boss room anyway. Can I kill this dude? No, I can't. I thought maybe I could do it without actually causing him to get up. Oh my god, that was pretty bad. We'll definitely open up the shop, of course, now that we have 16 cents. If we fight greed, well, shit happens, doesn't it? I don't know. I. I, I was thinking that I was going to get hit there, but I didn't know how to dodge it effectively. At least they were only spirit hearts. We're still alive. Compass for seven cents is a no-brainer. Then we will teleport ourselves to Gish Paradise here. And we can see both treasure rooms on the map now. I didn't even realize we were in the Caves XL, to be honest with you. 
So I should probably go to both of those. Now that I realize the I Am Error room represents, you know, two potential rooms of treasure lost, despite all the treasure that we would gain, I think it is best for us to at least find those treasure rooms before we do any more teleporting. They seem to be fairly close together. Maybe even adjacent to one another, which is awesome. Because it means I won't have to waste too many possible teleport charges. We can also see our boss room. I could teleport inside the boss trap room. That would be fantastic for me. Because I probably won't have just one single heart to get in there. This is like my dream come true. Two treasure rooms adjacent to one another, and I have more than enough keys to go to both of them. Doesn't happen every day. First one gives us Mr. Boom. I prefer the teleport, even though Mr. Boom would solve some of our bomb issues. Second one, Guardian Angel. So it didn't turn out fantastically, but it's alright. We're fighting our first boss. I wonder what happens if you teleport into the second boss room. Hopefully that's impossible if it causes a glitch. Otherwise, I guess maybe you just go fight uh, the other boss after, or you just skip the other boss. I don't know. We get Pageant Boy. Not a great item. But the extra money could come in handy in the shop on the next floor, of course. We got Gertie. Here's what I'm going to do for this. Finally pop this Chariot card. Do a little bit of extra damage. Mom's Knife just tearing through it. An extra Spirit Heart for us, and a Health Upgrade and a Damage Upgrade as well. That's awesome. Now we can safely teleport wherever we want, which is excellent. So I will go to every room on this floor again. The more teleports we get, the more possibility there is for the I Am Error room, which is really... The, the crux of teleport being a half-decent item is that you can eventually get to a room that gives you, like, ten pills or a couple of items or some golden chests, you know. Can't get to that. Really need a range upgrade. It's something I don't say all too often, but it's, it's becoming desperately apparent here. Well, there's our secret room, and now we can fly, so that is actually really good. Uh... And definitely a testament to the fact that you should go to secret rooms whenever possible. Get Red Patch in there. That gives us extra rage. I think Isaac's Fork is going to be better for us. Because I've been taking some stupid damage so far. Surprise, surprise. So even if we don't get the I Am Error room, we did get, you know, flying for basically no cost to ourselves. In fact, for actually no cost to ourselves. We don't know what this does. I've had so many bad pills that I'm inclined to think this pill almost has to be good. And a dime. Pill is bombs are key. Doesn't really do that much for us. Uh, doesn't really do that much against us, though, either, so... It's better than it could have been. I can fly. Why am I so concerned about this? Yes, this is much easier. Okay, so we got more teleportation to do here. Really hoping that I end up in the boss trap room at some point. Uh, again, I can fly. I'm not sure why I'm sweating this so much. I can't believe we bought something on this floor, like we bought the compass. And we still have 28 cents. That is awesome. We're going to keep going up and around here. Mom's Knife flying uh, on the fourth floor is a pretty solid setup. That was terrible, but hopefully we'll replenish our spirit hearts here. Yep, okay. So, no harm, no foul. Although I gotta stop thinking like that if I actually want to, you know, get enough health to survive. Through to the chest. I suppose I could cop out and fight Satan, but what's the point in that, right? Is there a tarot card over here I didn't pick up? Oh, it's the trinket, right? Of course. So we should have at least one more teleport. If I went to absolutely every single room, we would have two, but I'm getting a little sick of backtracking over these same rooms over and over. In fact, I think we're actually going to have two anyway, come to think of it. So let's get the sweet chain re I can't believe I got hit there. Uh, I need a way to replenish spirit hearts. Because I am taking a lot of dumb damage uh, of my own fault, for, to be sure. Still hurts though, man. And I still need that range upgrade. That's like the principal problem against these bomb flies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that I can't get far enough away to not get hit. You know what? That's what we're going to do about that. It sucks. But whatever. Get back to full health. I could have gone to the boss trap room while I was so low, but I didn't want to risk actually getting hit. That would have been pretty horrible for me. So we will do a little bit more backtracking here. And you know what? Let's go down to the next floor. I don't want to waste all of my freaking time just trying to make this happen when maybe it's it's not meant to be, you know? I'm just teleporting around aimlessly now. The flying was certainly awesome. Uh, I liked getting the... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's try it out. <laughs> I liked getting the tears upgrade from the boss as well. 
Dare I teleport one more time after this room? We might as well while it's charged. We have no risk. Just the risk of having to walk a little while. Wonder what the odds are of the I am error room actually appearing. It's gotta be pretty damn low. I've only gotten it like maybe certainly under 10 times in 250 videos. I mean, I don't get teleport all that often. But uh, when I do, it's still kind of a rarity for me to get the I am error room. It's probably like once every 20 teleports or something. I wonder if it says on the wiki and I'm just talking out of my ass right now. It's actually once every three teleports. So, we will get down to the next floor now. I'm feeling good about our chances, apart from the fact that I have very low health. Uh, that is a concern that will hopefully be alleviated. We really need a good spacebar item. And I hope we don't end up with Necropolis or, like, Depths XL. Doesn't seem like we did. Uh, reason being, double shops. I really want to get two shops, increase the chances of getting a Book of Revelation. You know, we could possibly get two deals with the Devil. It's gonna take us a little bit longer. But, uh, it's definitely worth it in this situation. Got here, the Devil card. Again, gonna save teleport, because I can't really afford to not have treasure. The teleport card, or the teleport, uh... Ability could actually be a negative thing sometimes. But do we know what this one does? Luck up. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. And we'll check out what we have in the mob trap room. Health up? Absolutely worth it. Now, watch this. See ya. We'll just teleport the fuck out of there. Uh, now I have no idea where I am, which is a, a problem. But. Okay, now I know where we are. Uh, there we go. We just basically got a free health upgrade because we could teleport. I am into that. Who knows, maybe we would have gotten some bombs or keys from the dudes who were, uh, you know, still alive in that room. But it's not a huge deal. Doesn't concern me all that much. Doing okay on the bombs and keys front. Alright, as similarly, it's still doing okay on the bombs and keys front. Range upgrade is actually what I wanted. Let's teleport again. And there's our boss room. Uh, we probably don't want to leave just yet. Like, I'll, I'll fight the boss, because we can, and still leave after that. Uh, but then we'll start doing some teleporting, just like I did on the last floor. We need to find the shop, too. Alright, this is actually good. For winning this fight, we will, uh, receive Gish. We will slow down our enemies. So we can see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their women. That should do it. We got another deal with the devil. I can't really afford to do a deal with the devil, but... Uh, no. <laughs> Guppy's tail could be interesting. Brimstone is unnecessary at this point, for sure. Alright, we got Super Greed in the shop. Let's pop this Devil card. Make him know we mean business. That's actually, like, normally that would be a really good shot, or a really good deal with the Devil Room. And the quarter is okay too, provided we can actually spend some of it on the next floor. Uh, normally that would have been a really good deal with the Devil Room. Brimstone, Guppy's Tail, both good items, but I don't, like, this is one of the few situations where I don't need Brimstone, because I already have Mom's Knife. And I, uh... Don't really have a need for Guppy's Tail either, but I still probably would have taken it if I had more health. Because I do have flying, so I can access a lot of golden chests. And I do have, uh, you know, a decent amount of keys. Not a whole lot if I want to actually open some of the stuff in the chest, but decent. So we're just going to keep exploring here. Maybe get a chance to build up some spirit hearts. Certainly a chance to build up some extra keys. And since I can't see shit on our map, I am just hoping that maybe I accidentally teleported into the secret room. Epic fetus. Bob's your uncle. We have GG, basically. That was terrible dodging. That was even worse, because I knew it was coming. <laughs> uh, so we'll teleport again. I don't know where we are. I think we're back in the... section near where we started. Maybe? Maybe? I... I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's our item room, I think. Or that might have been our shop. I struggle so much hitting zombies with Mom's knife, I don't know why. It seems like you have to be like slightly off-center to make it happen. There we go, finally got that one. 63 cents. Don't really want- I mean, I want to buy stuff. I guess there is stuff that I could use. So we've been there. We might have explored like all- yeah, okay, we've explored almost the entire floor here. And thus begins the long, strange trip. Well, I'll teleport and see what happens, but then begins the long, strange trip. Back to wherever the hell the boss room is. I don't know, it felt like it was in the top right, but maybe not. Oh god. 
I have no idea. This is a dead end, right? No? Oh, man. Oh, we got another room. Maybe we'll actually get another teleport so I can confuse myself even more. Maybe I've missed an entire wing. Oh, there we go. Cool, so we can just exit down to the next floor again. We're gonna be fighting Mom on this floor. We're gonna get the Polaroid. I kind of desperately need more health if we're gonna make this happen. I don't want to waste my money playing the fortune teller just yet. That might seem crazy because it can give me spirit hearts. But why waste a, a bunch of... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, why waste a bunch of money pay, playing the fortune teller when you don't even want to trink it right now? Because we're going to get the uh, Polaroid anyway. So we're going to go not use our teleport very much. Because I definitely want to make sure I go to the shop this time. Teleport could actually be very good or very terrible going into these later floors. Could teleport us directly to the boss could teleport us away from the boss. We have no way of knowing, so I might hold on to it, because it could be cool. But, you know, know that there is a genuine risk-reward there. Ten extra bombs, that's cool, because I was going to look for the secret room right next to this uh, boss trap room. That would be effective for me, and then I could TP out of there. And hopefully, you know, directly to the shop. Well, that's not the secret room, so we don't have to worry about it so much. We'll head to the left, where I hope we will run into the shop. And I hope that the shot doesn't contain greed. We already fought super greed, so I think it's unlikely that we'll fight greed. Uh, but certainly it's the kind of thing that, that does happen from time to time. Troll bombs, really? You're gonna mess with me right now? It's been a very good run for, for item drops. Except for health. I'm kind of struggling with that right now. And pills. Pills have been terrible. So I don't really want to be here. We're in a dead end. And I have a decent risk of being hit. I've chosen the wrong direction for the shop. We're not going to go to the self-sacrifice room because that so rarely pays out for me. That was very close. Uh, so we know that we want to go down and left, I guess. Unless we get... I mean, the Polaroid will give us some invincibility, but unless we get some kind of extra defense, it's going to be very difficult for us to win those bullet hell, you know, Isaac Blue Baby fights. What do we have here? Two of spades. Doubles our keys? Sure. I mean, we didn't have to use it right away. Could have saved it to see if we got some more keys, but... Double keys is fine by me. Gish probably saved my life there. That would have been very difficult to shoot without it. Oh, that was piss poor dodging. That was even worse again. Again, might be good for me to get some invincibility because of how terrible I am at dodging, apparently. And, oh my god. Another reason I don't want to use the teleport yet is what if I accidentally teleport to the I am error room and then I don't get the Polaroid trinket? Okay, here we got candle. We'll take it. Might as well buy this. I mean, we're gonna have to backtrack over hearts anyway, but why the heck not? Moon card is secret room. Secret room is onk. Excellent. Uh, we do want to go back here, though, for the devil card. Ah, you know, it's not worth it. We got mom's knife candle now. Let's just roll with that, and we're basically done with this floor. Good thing about candle in this situation, I've, I've previously said mom's knife candle is, is not a great combination necessarily because of the fact that... Uh, you have to focus on firing both of them, and that can be a little difficult for someone with a brain the size of a walnut, like myself. But... Uh, in this situation, it's good, because uh, a candle is going to have more range than my knife, and also it's going to allow me to kill that zombie, which was apparently impossible before that. Alright, we got Red Mom. I forget what this one does. Okay, it's just it's the one that fires feet continuously. And it's going to die very goddamn quickly. I think I have to do it without getting hit to get the Polaroid, but I did very quickly. So we will head down to the next floor. Uh, I don't know how I feel about our chances. Pretty low with four hearts. That is for damn sure. But we're, we're doing crazy damage. That's That goes without saying at this point. Mom's knife plus damage upgrades plus range plus, plus rage I should say. Uh, plus candle. But you know this is the kind of run where you know we have a lot of potential but I wouldn't be surprised to actually see us not even make it out of the womb. Simply because of the limited amount of health that we have. It's worth noting, kind of something I haven't mentioned so far, we also have very low speed. Which has occasionally, I think, been a problem for me, or a, one of those things that is causing me to take as much damage as I am. I mean, beyond just my total laziness or lack of confidence when it comes to dodging an Isaac. Is how are we gonna do this? Here's how we're gonna do this. We're just gonna let these guys basically impale themselves on our knife. Then we're gonna come up here and just stab this dude. Like so. Okay, so we're almost done with this floor. You know, that's the, the benefit of a Mom's Knife Candle Run, is that things are going to be fantastically fast. 
Ace of Spades. No, we don't want that. I gotta be careful. I don't want to accidentally pick up the tick. And we got Skolex. Skolex should... I'm not even gonna use the candle for this unless he puts his tail up and I can use both of them. Because Mom's Knife, I think, is gonna be way more effective. That was a bad miss. That was a pretty decent hit. So we get another HP up. And did that give us a spirit heart as well? If so, that is cool. We have an arcade. And we have a boss trap room. So we've got some, you know, potentially cool stuff going on. On this floor. Super Gluttony is dead. That was what I was mostly worried about. See, we're dropping so much red health here. That I feel like I should go to the arcade. Okay, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, like, I should go to the arcade so I can go to the boss trap room. But let's clear the way to the boss trap room first. Then we'll clear our way to the arcade. Looks like the boss is down here anyway, so... No big loss, really. Oh, lord. That worked really well, actually. Okay, so maybe we will check for the secret room instead, because if I, if I can do this without going to the blood bank, that might be beneficial for me. Not from a gameplay perspective, necessarily, because we could also get the IV bag, which would be excellent, but, uh, you know, from a time perspective. <laughs> I hate to say it, but... So we'll see if this is the secret room. It is not. Now we will make our way to the arcade, which I am going to assume is going to be to the right of our original spawn. And at the arcade, obviously, I, I can't believe Utero 2, 26 minutes, and I died two times at the start of this run. This has been a fast run, by my standards, at least. This room's not so bad. No rooms are really that bad with the set of items that I have, but this room is particularly okay. Gish saved my life against that spider, perhaps? Oh, that was terrible damage. I really wanted to save that spirit heart. Fuck it, let's go crazy. I cannot take damage on the boss trap room if this is to work now. And how much health do we have dropped? I mean, it seemed like a lot, so I'm just gonna go for broke here. Okay, but well, we got a lot of money. Not that that matters at all. We're gonna go into the boss- we could die in the boss trap room, but the reason I'm not too worried about that is because we're gonna respawn as Blue Baby if we die, because we do have the Ankh. So we're gonna skip this, that's two hearts, followed by another heart and a half. Okay, that's fine. If we die, we die. What is our item in here? It might even be health up. It is, so we're, we're probably gonna survive in here. It's like Loki Peep or Loki. Whoa, I would have died if I didn't get the health up there. That's crazy. Might be Loki 2 Monstros? It's Loki Monstro 2. <laughs> I was close. Alright, so we made it out of that. We're gonna get some extra health. We should probably go to the arcade and maybe play some stuff to get back to full health. Because I don't necessarily. I mean, the mom fight should be fairly easy, but why, uh, you know risk it without giving it your best possible opportunity. That's why we're here, right? I mean, we may only have six heart containers, but we might as well at least fill them up. I'm fine on bombs and keys. So we'll play the shit out of these. Uh, not trying to make a rhyme there. That would be a crime, bear. Someone now is drawing a comic called Crime Bear. Eventually they'll secure a four-picture deal with Miramax. And they won't cut me in for any of it. Uh, that's... We want to take that, because that becomes a full health pill if we get super low. So I think I could just play the Blood Bank <laughs> until I get really low, then use the full health pill. But Bad Trip has burned me in the past, and I don't I don't want to get burned again, you know? It's hard to deal with that kind of emotional turmoil. We don't want any of these. Please, just like a single red heart is all I need. I don't want... You can keep your money. I will give you all 68 cents for a single red heart right now. Well, you know what might make this easier? Let's blow up the blood bank first. That tends to have some hearts in it. Half a red heart. We're so close. I might as well just keep it up. More bombs never hurt anybody. Oh, maybe they did. <laughs> well, okay, we're back to full health. That bomb actually hooked me up. I, I appreciate that. So we'll get down to the room before the boss room here, which I hope is not going to be too, too bad. Now that we have this bad trip pill, I think we have a chance against uh, Isaac. 
which can get us to the chest, which can give us four good items potentially. I mean, who am I kidding? But it could give us four good items. Uh, and then, who knows? Maybe we can make a make a shot at Blue Baby. I'm just playing it simple right now. I can't believe the laser got me. That's pretty damn embarrassing. Don't li oh my god, I didn't even see that one. Okay, taking... Maybe I will need this... <laughs> this, uh, full health pill for Mom's Heart. That would be embarrassing, though. But Mom's Heart is very nearly dead. That is the, the, the power of a candle, book of knife. Candle, book of knife? That's the power of a, a candle, knife combination. Okay, well... Took a little bit more damage there, but that's fine. We're up to the next floor. Can't see shit. Thank God I bought this compass, right? Right? Ah, uh, that's a joke, Bobby. Let's see... Nothing there. Candle is also good when I end up in a position where I totally screw the dog with... Damn it. With mom's knife and end up missing my shot. Because then, candle is just like an extra shot, basically, that I've got. And it goes without saying that if you use both of them in conjunction... You can take down enemies very quickly. Very, very quickly, in fact. Red Heart Drops have been very generous so far, and nothing to complain with there. Wow! How did that happen so fast? Maybe I do have something to complain about. But I'm relying on this bad trip pill. If this stays a bad trip, I can tell you exactly how I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna get down to one heart, try to use it against Isaac, and then just end up eating it hard. Okay, I'm glad that the helmet dude is- Oh my god! Well, thank god we got half of a Red Heart back anyway. Let's toss some of these bad boys in here. Who knows, I might have to end up using this pill before we fight Isaac, which would be a huge personal failure for me. Maybe huge is not the right way to put it, but a, a personal failure, to be sure. Please don't explode into bullets when you die. Excellent! He exploded into spirit hearts, that is way better from a personal perspective. So, we'll come up and around here. Remember when this game ended? <laughs> At, uh, you know, the Depths Part 2, or we thought it ended at the Depths Part 2 anyway. Those were the days, man. Now I can get through the Depths Part 2 in, like, 15 minutes sometimes. Let's take it. Come on, really? We had some terrible pill luck this game. Should have played as Kane. That's what they all told me. I bet they're all laughing at home right now. Um, yes, we'll play this. I have to be cautious, though, because if we run into the tick, we gotta get the hell out of there. But the spirit hearts could be incredibly valuable for me right now. Remember when the game ended at Shoal? Those were the days. Remember when the game ended at the Cathedral? Those were the days. Temperance is a blood bank. We'll blow it up. I don't want to play it. Uh, unless it would give me full health, but again, I would probably save this full health pill for Isaac. Whatever. Let's blow this up, too. Give me more spirit hearts. I don't have the patience to deal with you right now. Extra key, that could come in handy in the chest, probably not. Really hoping that that Tinted Rock gave me some spirit hearts. No such luck though, instead, all it gave me was pain and misery. Ah, oh, but we got a spirit heart from this room. If I could just get back to full health, I would feel more confident. This is risky. This is very r fucking risky. Candle him. Hey, that actually worked out really well. Now, we'll try to get this green one with the candle as well. Didn't work. Eh, the knife got him. And we're back to full health. Okay, I feel much, much better now. We've explored pretty much everything in the cathedral. We've got to be on our way to the boss fight. Nope. What direction did I mess up here? Can we go up here? Have I been up here? I've been up there. Hmm. Very confused right now. What else is new? But maybe we haven't gone all the way up here? I don't remember if I've seen... Well, there's been bombs in this room, so clearly I've been here. Maybe we haven't gone to the right? This is why I desperately need a map in, like, every possible situation. Okay, we hadn't been to the right. How does that thing explode? Like, it seemed like the bomb was still very much in the air. Maybe it was a perspective thing. I don't understand art. Okay, we lost the spirit heart, but we're still fine on red hearts. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up the bomb. Why the heck not? And we got little Gertie Jr. Gish very strong against Gertie Jr. Now we gotta remember, 
to use this bad trip pill when things get rough. Oh, and I forgot that the candle is so good against Isaac. Because it actually kills his projectiles. All is not lost now. We should still be able to tear this dude a new asshole. Like, tear this asshole a new dude, right? Right? Doesn't really make any sense, right? Alright, Isaac is dead. We are alive. We actually got a little bit of extra health there. And we're still holding the bad trip pill, which means I think we have a chance against Blue Baby. It depends on when we get in the chest here. Mom's bra, terrible. Uh, Celtic Cross, very good. Gives us some invincibility. Halo of Flies, also pretty good for bullets that will come across. And Peeper's Eye, it was alright. I mean, not great, but we did get three passives, which is okay. Didn't realize that Gluttony also hurts Lust. Peeper's Eye might have saved my life there. Or at least saved me from taking a, a whole hunk of damage. Can't believe Sloth didn't get killed there. So we got Bob's Rotten Head, also something that we do not want right now. See, these rooms I can deal with. This doesn't bother me so much. Halo of Flies saved my fucking life against Greed so much there. This is going very well so far, I gotta say. Man, Wrath had a lot of HP left. Sun card, we'll save that for the boss because it's also full health. Come into here. We have Double Wretched. We still have... Oh, no, okay, one of them's dead now. They're both dead. That was... That was good. That was very good. I'm... This is... This floor has gone really well so far. Uh... Let's do things this way. Okay, we made it. I think we got a chance here. I gotta time my candle shots... with my knife throws... in order to... dodge the... Projectiles or block the projectiles that it shoots when I hit it with the knife. Have we been hit on this floor? If not, there is a small chance I could beat the chest without taking damage. Which would be unbelievable. Wow. Um, I <laughs> just don't take damage. You'll be fine. I think we beat the chest without taking damage. That blows my mind. Um, as always, we will see you guys next time. I'm very impressed with myself, despite the fact that those first few runs ended in utter failure. Uh, everything after that went really, really well, so I don't know if that is going to give me that last achievement. I'll keep you guys posted. It probably won't show up because I need to, like, sign in, sign out of Steam. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.